All right, stop. Using data tables in financial reporting. Like I realize that data tables have been around since forever and that using them in financial reporting goes hand in hand. However, I believe there's seven reasons why you should think about going into something a little bit more visual that will explain your message better and give better clarity to your data. So let's dive in to all the benefits of switching from normal tables to something a little bit more visualized, just like you guys should switch to using Zebra BI. Visualize your financial and non-financial data in a way that will be understandable to everyone, even Mike the janitor. You can download the visuals from the link in the description below. So before we go into the seven reasons, let me just show you how easy it is to visualize financial data. So first, let's go online and find some financial data from a reputable company. So let's do Tesla today and let's go into their investor relations pages and download a press release. Cool. Now that we have this, we'll scroll down and we can see they have a lot of tables. But let's find, let's find one with uh -huh, something like this, financial statements. Okay, now going from this financial statements, we'll just make a little screenshot from our data. All right, and now we can go into Excel and go under data, insert data from picture, choose clipboard here because we have it on clipboard, and Excel will automatically paste this data inside of the cells for you to use, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna see if we need to actually check on anything else. So, all right, I'll just I'll just delete some of these some of these names. They are too long. And now let me just take a few of these, a few of these, uh, a few of these categories, and let's try to create a visualization. All right, paste it here. Make this look a little bit better. Let's give it a header row. All right, choose categories here and let's just do for one for previous year and one for actual. All right, and we'll, we'll just delete the data for the, other, uh, for the other quarters. All right, now that we have this, uh, I just have to get rid of the thousand separator because I'm using a different, uh, different locale. So I'll just replace this with nothing and there we go. All right, create a table and we're done. Now go under my add-ins, insert a Zebra BI table, and I don't want it to sort, I want the sorting to be like it is. On my data, choose a waterfall that will be a best representation of what we're doing. Now I just need to invert and result some of my, some of my categories, all right, like this. Then income from operations is result. There we go. Interest income is positive, interest expenses is already negative, other income expense is already negative, so that's cool. Uh, income before income taxes should be our uh, result. And then provision from income taxes should be inverted and then our net com income is result. There we go, pretty easy. Now let's pin it against the data table that we started with. So now that we have both sides, on one side a pretty normal data table designed to be quite visible and nice and appealing, and on the other we have an actual visualization that people want to read. So let's go into the first of all the benefits. Number one is complexity. And with data tables, complexity is achieved a lot faster than you would expect. So even this kind of data table that doesn't have that many rows and columns can be quite a pain to understand and it looks a lot more complex than it actually is. This can be a barrier for people to even try to understand your data. Something like a visualization, something like this is a lot more appealing and I bet many of you are looking at the visualization here instead of the table. So now imagine this table being a little bit larger and maybe incorporating things like uh, custom sorting orders or I don't know maybe something like conditional formatting things can get complicated real fast and this brings us to point number two which is reader engagement people will not want to engage with your data or even try to understand it if it looks remotely too complicated for them to even invest the time but now when you're having people that need to understand this data, because it's one of the most important ones that you can present for your company, this can become a real problem. 
So having something like visual aids for people to understand that these aren't just numbers, but there's actually a story here, can help immensely with the amount of engagement that they show. Going forward to number three, which is the one that probably most of you already agree with, which is trend. It's really hard to gather any information about the trends from a table like this. So many of you already incorporate, even Tesla does, some of, let's say, time series like charts or trend charts um, into, their, into their financial presentations or reporting. And this is a good thing. This just further proves our point. <laughs> the fourth is comparing data. So you can help yourself immensely here with using things like conditional formatting. However, this is still not going to help when you need your users to make comparisons between different rows, different columns, and just simply confusing themselves even more than they are. So they're using so much time to gather the same information they would from something like this. Using something like Zebra BI that help you visualize these differences between, you know, something that happened today and previous year is going to help your users understand a lot better. Tell me, how many of you understand a growth of revenues between previous year and this year faster from this table than from this visualization? Number five is contextual information. A lot of time in finances, people from finance will understand something like this, something like this table. So it has revenues, it has costs, and to you, everything here make sense. But to somebody from maybe middle management or upper management who doesn't completely understand how automotive sales can be shown twice, once on the revenues, other times at cost, will not understand the impact that it actually has towards your end result. By visualizing this data, it's pretty clear. Either it goes up or it goes down. And this point brings us to number six, which is storytelling. It's very hard to tell a story with just a data table, but it's very easy when you have it visualized in a beautiful manner which people can follow. A story goes from beginning to end. Just like this visualization goes from revenues down to net income. So this kind of visualization can help you immensely understanding that higher revenues drove toward a higher net income can understand that with higher revenues there are also higher costs of goods everything like this is a lot easier to understand if you can see it if you can visualize the story become part of it than if you just look at a simple number and everything that we talked about until now pretty much combinates into number seven which is improved communication. If you do everything we just said, make an engagement higher, bringing in more understanding, understanding what has to be done to make changes, so making reports actionable will improve your communication throughout your organization because everybody will understand what needs to be done to be better. So thank you for watching. I hope I inspired you to become a data wizard and start presenting your data in an understandable and actionable way. So if you like more content like this, and if you really like the snippet from Tesla that we had here as our data source, maybe I can invite you to join our next webinar happening on September 14th with our founder, Andre Lapine. He will take you with him on a journey to understand some financial data from the biggest companies in the world. Do you want to know who's doing better? The Coca-Cola company or maybe PepsiCo? Do you want to see General Motors versus Tesla? If the answer is yes, join us September 14th. The link will be in the description below. Thank you again. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next week.